Foreign specialists arrived in Syria to stage a chemical attack which will be blamed on the Damascus government. Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Mayor General Igor Konashenkov said on August 25, warning that the staging of the incident may happen soon. According to the military spokesman, the English-speaking specialists arrived in a kibbutz settlement in southern Idlib. In the most populated area of Kafrizida, preparations are being made for a group of residents brought from the north of the province to participate in the staging of an attack of allegedly chemical munitions and bombs by Syrian government forces, staged assistance by mimicked rescuers from the White Helmets, and a shooting of the video for distribution to the Middle East and English-language media, Mayor General Konoshenkov said. He emphasized that this situation once again confirms that foreign forces are seeking to severely destabilize the situation and disrupt the steady dynamics of the ongoing peace process. The Russian military pointed out that this stage attack is designed to create a pretext for the new U.S.-led missile strike on government facilities in a war-torn country. According to Kwanashenkov, Washington is already preparing for this move. The U.S. Navy's destroyer Sullivan's with 56 cruise missiles on board arrived in the Persian Gulf several days ago, while a B-1B strategic bomber of the U.S. Air Force armed with AGM-158JA SSM air-to-surface missiles was deployed to the al Air airbase in Qatar. Meanwhile, the Russian naval task force near Syria has been strengthened with Black Sea Fleet's brigades, Admiral Grigorovich and Admiral Essen, armed with caliber cruise missiles and still one surface-to-air missiles. The task force near Syria currently consists of at least 16 warships and submarines, including three Admiral Grigorovich-class brigades and three Buyan M-class corvettes, all armed with caliber missiles. Separately, the head of the Russian Center for Reconciliation of the Opposing Sides in Syria, Mayor General Alexei Tsigankov, revealed that thousands of militants with heavy weaponry and armed vehicles have gathered in the province of Idlib, preparing for an offensive on government-controlled areas in Hama and Aleppo. The militants' preparations are ongoing, amid continued tensions between them and government forces at the contact line in the Idlib de-escalation zone. On August 26, the Syrian army carried out artillery strikes on Hayat al Sham positions in the villages of Kuwain and al Tamana in southern Idlib and the headquarters of Jaish al Iza near the village of al Zaka in northern Hama. According to pro government sources, the strikes destroyed several vehicles used by militants to build fortifications in these areas, as well as eliminated several militant groups' fighters. The situation in the Idlib de-escalation zone remains unstable, and it will remain unstable until Hayat al-Sham and its allies are able to operate in the area.